Alrighty guys, I'll be showing you guys how to jack up your C63 or any C-Class for that matter, W204 off all four wheels. Before we start, make sure you're on a level surface like a driveway or a garage like this. I will be left the front end first, let's go ahead and put some wheel chocks behind the rear wheels, just like so. This next step only applies if your jack is too high to fit below the front of your car. Um, so if you have a CC3 for example or a lowered car, this applies to you. So what you can do is you can either put a, uh, your car on top of some blocks, get it a little higher off the ground to start off with, or get some ramps. Uh, but in my case, I have neither of those things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack up the car a little bit from the front jack point right over here. Kind of hard to see, but it's this guy right over here. It's kind of below the front door shut crease over here. So that is the front jack point. I do recommend getting a jack pad like this one made for Mercedes. It kind of fits right in the little jack point in the front or the sides. Um, it's very useful to have so you don't mess up your jack points. Once that jack point is nicely in place and you make sure you've got your parking brake on, your cars and park, all that good stuff, you can start lifting the car up. All right, so at this point I've gotten my car high enough in the air where I can put my bigger jack below the front of the car and access the front jack point. If look at the front of the car over here. You can see just below and all the way over there, that little rubber square is your front jack point where we can put our bigger jack and get the front of the car in the air completely. Once you've got the car to your desired height, you can go ahead and remove the side jack over here, which is not anything anymore, and you can put some jack stands and on those jack points. Alrighty, got the front end nicely on some jack stands, as you guys can see right there. Now time for the back. To lift from the rear of the car, you're going to want to lift from the rear diff, which it's kind of hard to see, but if you guys can kind of find it there, on the 63, it's just behind that exhaust bracket, little black diff casing. Here's where I love the diff casing, as you can see right there the black casing just above the jack pad. Alrighty, once you've got the rear of the car up to your desired height, you can go ahead and let on the jack stands like so. As a quick summary, there are four jack pads on the side of the car. You got two in the rear, one on each side, two in the front, one on each side. There's the front jack point as well, and then there's the rear diff. Before you get under the car, be sure to give it a good shake. Just make sure it's solid on there, which this one is. Also, if you plan on doing trans work, make sure your car is level. So big, take a big level, kind of like that guy over there with the bubbles and all that stuff, and uh, put it below the um, side skirt of the actual frame of the car, and just make sure it's you know it's pretty close to level. And that is basically it on how to raise your C-Class off all four wheels. Hope this video helped you out. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, I, I do a pretty good job at answering them, so yeah, just let me know.